Hello to the Filipino and the global gun plot community. Welcome back to the mobile suit hangar for another video. This time we're going to do something different. Yes, and this is going to be the first episode of what I call critique my build. For this pilot episode, what we are going to do is I'm going to show you how I hand brush this gun plot and you guys are going to let me know what are the things that I could still work on and how else I can improve my skills in this build. You don't need to be an expert builder just to critique this paint job. If you're also a beginner like me, you can still definitely critique my build and develop your eye for detail so you won't repeat the same mistakes I did in this build if there were any. Before I started this project, I made sure to watch other tutorial videos about hand painting model kits and I also asked professional modelers who hand paint their kits. So let's get on with this paint job. So here are the paints that I used. So we have Vallejo Mecha Primer, um, it's Primer Gray, I have Pure Black, I have Steel, Off-White, Gunmetal, and I also have the Airbrush Flow Improver and the Airbrush Thinner. Why? Well, okay, so the Airbrush Flow Improver acts as a paint retarder and it helps the paint not to dry quickly. And of course, the Airbrush Thinner, well, yeah, it's an Airbrush Thinner, so it also does its job thinning paints. For acrylics, it's best to use non-synthetic paintbrushes. What I have is a nylon paintbrush and a pony hair paintbrush. And of course, before you paint your kits, you always have to prime your kits. So here, I'll be using Vallejo Gray Primer. So we'll be putting four drops of primer and then one tiny drop of airbrush thinner. And lastly, two drops of airbrush flow improver. So again, the airbrush flow improver acts as a paint retarder. So your paint won't dry immediately on your palette. And let's give it a good mix and we are ready to go. So the first technique that I'm going to use for applying primer on your kit would be this. So what we do is we just apply thin coats of primer and you have to apply at least three thin coats so you could be sure that the primer covers the entire piece that you're going to paint.
Okay, so now we are going to apply Vallejo Pure Black onto the piece. What's amazing about Vallejo paints is that since they are water-based, you don't need to really thin the paints that much. What you need to do is a wet paintbrush and directly apply the paint on the piece and the paint will level itself. And once it dries, you will see the magic. There is no evidence of hand brushing. So here's another piece using the three thin coats primer technique. Well, as you can see, it's not that perfect, but yeah, it works. <laughs> and here is another piece with Vallejo Pure Black applied. So another technique when priming is this. Instead of applying three thin coats, we apply one thick coat. So when stroking the brush, it has to be really gentle. And once the primer is applied, you will see that the primer itself also self levels. So this is the finished project and as you can see I applied gloss coat over this kit and I used Tamiya light gray accent for panel lines and I also used my leftover decals for this kit. Alright, thank you so much guys for joining me in this project. 
I hope you learned something as well while I was painting this kit. And please let me know in the comment section what are the things you liked and what are the things that I still need to improve on. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Mobile Suit Hanger and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!